What's going down everybody? Welcome back to another Altered Art tutorial. Today, as you can see, we've got a solemn simulacrum that looks sort of done, but the name line's not cleared yet, and we're going to do what's called an image transfer onto the card. So I'm going to show you how to do that. It's a little trick. Lots of artists do it to put some photograph or some image onto a canvas. Lots of altruists do it to put some cartoon character type thing onto an existing piece of art or card altar that's half done like this one. And today we're going to do Android 18. So I've got the card prepped already. I've cleaned the bottom. This is sort of a standard borderless alteration. And now I've got Android 18 in my hand here in the studio. I apologize for the echo if you can hear it. But we've got Android 18 and what we're going to do is take a 6B pencil. This is essentially just a really soft pencil. It doesn't need to be a 6B pencil. It doesn't need to be this one. It can just be probably anything softer than a 2B and that's going to make it the easiest. So I've got it somewhat sharp and I've got a small little picture here that I've resized and you don't need Photoshop. You don't need any image editing software. Essentially all you need is Microsoft Word. The card dimensions this way this way is 6.3 centimeters. So that's 6.3. And this way, it's 8.8 .8 centimeters. So that's how big a card is. And this, of course, doesn't go all the way to the edges of the card. But knowing how big Android 18 is, for example, from here to, to here is going to let us appropriately size it on the card. And this one's gonna to be too big to fit on the whole card. So like her legs are gonna get cut off here or so, but this is the art that I'm using and it's gonna go onto the card. I'm gonna show you how to do that. Now, what we do with this pencil, and I've already done it, so you don't get to see that part, but I've, I've colored in really dark. I've just really filled this in wherever she is on the back. I really fill it in so when I flip it back over and grab something pointy like this, just an old fine tip pen that I had with, with no ink left in it, I'll, and I'll give you a little example of how it works. When we flip it back over and we trace where she is, and this is where the critics are gonna come in and say tracing isn't art, but it is, you're gonna see there's an outline of where her leg is. So that's what we're gonna do, and we're gonna do it onto this card. And again, this is a this is a technique that lots of artists use, lots of altruists use. When you see any anime stuff that's on cards, usually it's this style. So I'm gonna make sure I replace that little bit that I took off. That's not really necessary. Like if I was gonna do this onto multiple cards, for example, I'd be able to do this onto several cards with this same kind of lead backing or graphite blacking. So I'm gonna place it, we're gonna speed it up, and then I'm gonna show you the finished product. Okay, so you saw me holding it down like this. You could also put some tape on there, but I find it's just as easy for me to hold it down because I can kind of look at it underneath what I've what I've done. What you want to make sure you do at all costs is make it however you're doing it so that the image doesn't move because you'll never be able to get it back on top of the card in the exact same spot again. If you can tape it, you can kind of fold it back and then you can re-tape it down in the in, in the similar spot. But an image this kind of intricate, that isn't going to be the best thing for you to be trying to do. So without any further ado, let's take this off. Let's see what it looks like. I didn't really trace the hands that great. I just kind of kind of made a line where the fingers were. But I did re like I did trace the difference in shadow and I did just kind of make some straight lines for her hair. That's the kind of stuff I'm going to have to put in. So let's take a look. And you can't really see a lot of anything on it. And where there is where there is paint, like here where I kind of blocked out the, the original art, 
you can see it better where there's no paint up by her head. That's going to be a little bit more left up to my own interpretation of how it should look. And you can see I went a little bit low. Usually just some water on a paper towel will get rid of that. Things to watch out for. Again, get a fine tip. The harder you press, the, the wider the line is going to be like this line here. This line here is probably a little bit too thick for how articulate I want to paint. It doesn't matter right here, but on her face, that would just not work at all. So those are the kinds of things that you should watch out for. I should have probably cut the, the, the original image off where I knew it was going to end. Should have just measured, and then I wouldn't have to deal with this because sometimes when you're using a pen like this, it'll put an indent in the card. Probably not here because I didn't press very hard, but that's what it looks like. If you want to have it a little bit easier to paint like around here, you might, you maybe want it to do like a, like a gray base coat. And then after the base coat, you could redo the altar underneath. But I don't know if that's advisable, like on, on something that's colored behind, like, or the original images behind it. But that's how you do it. I hope this was at least a little bit informative. And if anybody wants to try giving it a go, just make sure that you get something that you can see really well underneath that graphite, like these lighter colors, if it's your first time trying this. Don't forget to check out the other Altered Art tutorial videos. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Share this with anybody that you want to show off altars to or that you know likes altars or anybody that you think would like to give this a go.